Hi and welcome to another one of my ACT 2010 tutorials. I'll quickly put this video together based upon a request that I've had uh, with regard to adding image files to your ACT database. So it's a fairly straightforward process and hopefully by the end of this video you'll be confident in going through the same motions yourself. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go into the database structure and you must be an administrator or manager of the database to do this. So if you go to the tools menu and choose define fields. Now you can create image files in any of the tables that exist within Act 2010, but I'm going to simply add a photo field into the contact table. Here I am viewing the fields in the contact table and I have the ability to now create a new field. So I'm just going to call this field photo. Now the important bit is the field data type and the option you want to choose is picture. There aren't many other settings uh, when you choose the field date type of picture, so at this stage we can simply click on finish. And as that's the only field that we're going to add to the database at this time, we we'll simply click on close. Now unless you've already ticked the box on screen do not show this message, this dialog box will always appear whenever you add or delete new fields to the database. So it's asking, would you like to modify your layout now? We want to choose yes. So the first step is to create the new field in the tools and define fields, the database structure itself. And the second step is to add that new picture field to our layout. So here we are within our layout. And the, what I'm going to do is actually add a new tab to the bottom of the screen. And the way that we add a new tab is go to edit tabs and add tab. I'm just going to call this one images. It then appears to the right of the documents tab and when I click on close you see I now have the images tab. Just move this bottom part of the window up slightly. Okay, the next step is to choose the picture field on the left hand side from the toolbox. Symbol click it with your left mouse button, and then you get the crosshair and you can simply drag and drop to specify the size of the image that you want to display. As soon as you let go of the mouse, you are prompted with the picture image fields which already exist in the database that aren't already present on this layout. So there's the new one that we've just created called photo and I can simply click on add. Let me just move that slightly so that I've got my label above the image field. And then I'm going to click on save for my layout and just exit out. Okay, if I now click on the images tab, just scroll this up so that you can see. Now unfortunately, ACT does not give you an easy indication that an image field exists here. However, when you move your mouse over that particular field, you'll notice that the image field is indicated with the hand. So from here, if I click within this image field, I'm then asked where my image exists on my system. I'm going to simply use this one here that is present on my desktop and click on open. Now when I click on save, that image is going to be there and available for every other user of the database. Similarly, regardless of the image that is currently within that particular picture field, if I simply click it again, I have the ability to choose another image and then that will simply replace the image that was previously there. 
that concludes this short video. Hopefully it's been informative and you're now confident in adding image fields to your database. You're not restricted to one picture field per database. You can have as many picture fields as you want within your database. The only one thing to note is that you can only have one picture per picture field. Hopefully that makes sense and until next time, have a great day.